As you guys can see in my last video, what I taught you guys to do is how to organize your clips into one file and put them into a new project where you guys are going to be finally editing all your clips together to make one full video. So in this lesson, I'll be actually teaching you guys how to edit, putting your clips together and how to make them make sure that they all fit together. So in this video, we're just going to get started and just put all these clips together and see how everything will match up and show you guys my thought process behind actually editing. So the way I like to start my video is by first picking a trick that's really hard. And by picking a trick that's really hard, you could get the attention of the person who's watching it. I might go and start with a varial heel because I usually have tray flips and I usually show them a lot on Instagram. So instead I'm just going to use a varial heel instead. So I'm going to put that first. Look through it. Make sure that everything's good. Okay, so everything's good. Now you move on to the next trick. So the next trick is probably going to be a back 180. So this is kind of an easy trick up the Euro gap. So, so that way you can have some kind of momentum to keep your audience in check. Then after that, I'll do a tray flip, another hard trick, and then front board. So it's hard, easy, hard, easy. But I don't really like that concept, but for this, I actually will do that. And after I get those clips in and I put them together, in the way I put the volume up all the way up, up to 12 decimals. The next trick is going to be all the clips from IS5. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put easy tricks at the beginning and the hard tricks at the end. So I'll start off with the front shove because that's one of the easy tricks. Front shove, then half cab. Vicky front half cab, kick flip, heel flip, and then nollie flip. Uh, you can also zoom out the clips so that way you can see all your clips back to back so you don't have to keep scrolling back and forth like this because that's going to be really annoying so just zoom out your clips and just put the last clip in, nollie flip. And I have three shove there too and it's a really hard trick but I landed it sketchy as you guys could see. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that at the end and just make it like a, not a banger, but like kind of a weird ender to that video. And of course you want to put all your volume for your tricks up all the way. And what you always want to do is every time once you've put all your tricks into this project, press Control S to save your project. Because what I was showing you guys in my last video, for whatever reason, you close your program and it says save or do not save and you by accidentally click do not save, then you have to restart the whole process. So now you have your tricks. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a song that you want to put into your edit. Of course you don't need to, but you can. I won't play the clips with the song because if you put the clips and the song together, I might get copyright strike. So I'm better off just uh, showing you guys whatever it is. So, and the way I like to also match my skating with my music is the sound itself. So if you can see there's a high pitch and a low pitch of a song, then you know where that banger is. And also you want to play that song a couple times in your head or a couple times. You want to play that song a couple times to yourself so you know where that timing is for that song. So, let's say... Uh, the song over here is where it gets high noted. You can press M. That's where the beat drops or whatever. Press M. And if you press M, then it's going to leave a marker in your timeline where you want your, clip, your trick either to start, where you pop it, or where you want to land it. Press M, and there you go. You got your marker right over here on the timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start editing. So I'm going to start trimming and doing whatever I have to do to that clip. And of course, once you put your song in, you want to save your song too. So press Control Save. So let's say the song over here is going to hit the beat. So the song, go to your timeline, press M. I added another marker. So that's where the song is going to drop. I don't know where the song is going to drop because I don't want copyright strikes. But what I will do is I'll mark it, pretend like the beat is going to drop there. And that's where I want my trick to land. So if I want my trick to land there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up. So I put my utility marker over there. And now what I'm going to do, 
I'm actually going to move these clips a little back so now I can start sorting all these clips out together. Uh, I have to do a little bit more because it's still not lined up properly. So move it a little more, a little more, just do it slowly. And that's where it looks like it's lined up. You can take your utility, check. So where I marked it, where I marked both clips, that's where, it's the, that's where the beat drops. So now I'm gonna do is test it. Bang, and so it lines up. So on my last part, I told you guys to leave a little bit extra time before and after you land the trick. Now I'm going to tell you why I told you guys to leave extra time before and after the trick. So as you can see, if I leave it like that, there's an empty space there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag the clip as much as possible. What I'm going to do, since I still have that empty space in front, even after extending the clip, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim the song a little so it matches up, just like that. And as you can see, as you trim the song, what's going to happen is you're gonna trim the clip so it lines up together. And of course, if you want the start of the song to match the beginning of the trick, then you gotta change again and keep doing this tedious work. But I don't mind if the beginning of the song, because the beginning of the song is actually flat, there is no song. So it's good for me to trim it a little bit. And of course, if you have a really long song and you want a certain part of a song and you want the beginning, you could trim the clip and trim the beats together. So that way, when you have the beats together, then it makes it easier to uh, what's it called shorten the song and it, do, it sounds like you didn't do anything at all It sounds like it's part of the song even though it's shorter and you want to do this for every Clip so you get your next trick in you put it right next to it and you look for your next one and Bang a little bit too much roll away, and I want I want it a little bit faster So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna trim this clip a little bang so now I want the tricks back to back so back 180 and now we're going to do tray flip and I want the tray flip to be a little bit more faster I don't want it to be too far away or too um, what's it called I don't want too much time between the two tricks I want it back to back as quickly as possible so right there bang and that was a little bit too much time of uh, landing it of me rolling away so I'm going to go over here trim it all the way to my utility marker or we're gonna play the clips back to back and see how it sounds. If I think that the music doesn't match the skating, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the clip or trim the clip a little bit more, but you gotta be careful. You, if you trim the clip too much, then it's not gonna look as presentable. It's not gonna look that nice because you're just doing it bang, bang. I don't, some people don't like that because it's like you can barely see the landing and you barely see the trick because everything's happening all at once. So it's better to space it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is to make sure that it doesn't happen like that. I'm going to play the clip from beginning to where I last edited it. So varial heel, bang, the song goes in. I think that the varial heel is a little bit too much roll away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it just a little bit like that, back 180, a little bit slow, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a trim on the back 180 as well when I'm riding up to it. Again, I want my tricks to be back to back, so what I'm going to do, back 180, and then tray flip. And actually, I want that tray flip to be slow mode. I think I told you guys last time that I want that trick slow mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker, and slowly move it across and see when you start popping because most of the time you don't want it, the slow mode to begin when you're still rolling up you want it to start when you're starting to pop so right there it looks like I'm about to pop so what I'm going to do is press control B split the clip and be careful just like how I did now I just split the song and the clip I don't want that so I'm gonna press control Z undo it click on the clip Press Control B, and now you just only split the clip, and now you keep going forward, you look at where you're popping, and now you want to stop the slow-mo when it starts, or when you start to catch the trick. So that's when I catch it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press Control B one more time, and make sure you click on the clip, 
Control B, split it. Now go to the middle clip because that's where you're going to be slow mowing. You're going to go on the time over here and you're going to press slow and don't do anything below 0.5 or half the time because if you do anything past half the time it's going to look much more nastier and it's also um, the sound of the trick is not going to be there so it's just better to leave it at half. So you press on that and now you're going to do is you're just going to see how it goes all together. So like that, bang. And that's how I want it because now the trick ends and you go on to the next trick and it's kind of back to back. The beginning might be a little bit slow but once you get that song in and, you're, and the viewers start feeling that song with the skating, that's when you catch them and that's when they want to watch the rest of this video. Um, so let's do this one more time. Let's just look at it one more time because I want to make sure that everything looks nice. And again, this is a really long process so if you feel like you guys are already losing it, like you're immensely losing it, just take a break and just do eat something or take a little break and then come back to it because again if you eventually you'll get used to it as you edit more and more but for now you just gotta make sure you gotta pull through it and you just gotta get used to uh, editing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the next clip the front board the front board is very easy trick so I'm not gonna slow mo it slow mo it or give it a lot of roll up I'm just gonna make it like a one two clip so it's just bang bang that's it I don't want it I don't want the uh, trick to be as you would say, like a slow trick, just uh, that's just a filler for me. So with fillers, I just like put them in real quick and then just move on to the next clip. And I wouldn't even bother slow mowing it. Uh, next is the IS-5 clips, that's when it starts. So, so what I'm going to do with the easy clips, I'm just gonna put them back to back, back to back, back to back and get it over with. And then the hard tricks like the kick flip, heel flip and nollie flip, depending on which ones then I'll just try to see which one I want to slow-mo. I think I'll do probably the nolly flip and I'll just make sure that it, um, what's it called? And I'll make sure that the nolly flip is a little bit slow mode and matches the song as well. And maybe the kick flip depending. But I know for the Halloween edit, I did make it so I slow mode it. Uh, so let's do front shove. I just moved the utility, split it. That's where I start doing it. Land, that's it. I don't want it any more time wasted on that trick. So, I already split it. So now I'm going to do half cab. I'll just move your utility to where you're going to be landing, right there. And of course, I told you guys to leave extra space because of the song. But again, I'm doing this without music, so... Split. And of course, be careful with the song. I'm just saying it's... Uh, I'm not using it, but... I uh, just trying to show you guys that you guys could use the wavelengths of the song to match what you're skating. So let's say you know that over here is where you're going to be landing it, right? And this is where your uh, song hits that beat. That's where the wavelength is very high, where you want to match it up. So just like that, roll away. Next is going to be half cap. Actually, I'm going to put half cap first because half cap for me is much more easier. And a lot of people don't do front half caps. so. Sometimes you want to speed up a clip if you're rolling a lot on a line, but if you're rolling a lot on a line, I wouldn't even use it because it's like, come on, like you're really going to be speeding up a clip, like, it's not, it's not, it kind of shows how slow you're going, so I personally don't like speeding up lines. Boom, boom, back to back. And that's the, exactly the way I want it. And I know this is a really long video, but you have to learn all these steps and it's going to take a while to... I should get used to all this. Um, press Control S to save your project. Because again, if you close your project, you're gonna have to restart everything. You're gonna have to re. Uh, you're going to have to re slow mo everything. You're gonna have to trim again, and you're gonna have to match up with the song again. So it's gonna be another two hours of you editing. Of course, I did this real quick because I'm just trying to get this video. But I have done this before. I closed my program by accident, and it ends up. And it ended up me having to waste another two hours trying to edit a new video. So what I'm going to do now is save. And what I was telling, what I was telling you guys about uh, the song to shorten it. So let's say the beat drops over here. So you split the beat over there. And then the beat starts rising over here. There's no sound. There's no nothing. So you could press Control B. Cut out the middle. 
and now it sounds like you didn't do anything at all again doing so you want to find a good snapshot uh, to make a thumbnail for your video let's say for Instagram just put it at the last 10 seconds or whatever of your clip or tell uh, one second in your clip so you have a good thumbnail so you don't have to look for it so what I'm going to do I'm gonna go through my video uh, find a good thumbnail so I really like this one it has the grip inside of it so let me just show you guys no right there so you can see that I have the one piece grip and you can see it it's facing upright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the camera button control alt S snapshot and now your snapshot is going to be saved into the folder of this file and you're going to want to create a thumbnail um, and of course you could just take the thumbnail you can also put it over here it's automatically saved to your project so just trim it and that's how you have your thumbnail you just you just go to the last frame of your Instagram clip and that's going to be your thumbnail so you don't have to go through the process of having to look for it you just have everything there already but that is how you edit the basics you just trim you slow mo I wouldn't again I would not mess around with effects or elements unless you're like doing some kind of crazy project but you just need to slow mo it and just do your trim and just make sure that everything matches you don't have to go crazy unless you're doing like a professional video then maybe you want to add effects but other than that just leave it alone since you guys are now done with part three now you guys can move on to part four which is going to be touch-ups and final touches of the project so if you guys missed any lessons there's going to be a video on the bottom left corner where all my videos are posted it's going to be in a playlist so click on that if you want to go back to any other uh, parts but that should be it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in part four